Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Happy New Year. We are finally in 2024. If you watched the live stream, the live stream went up yesterday. Only because when I live streamed on Twitch, I also live streamed directly to this channel. So that's why the live stream went out yesterday and a gaming video went out yesterday because that's the new schedule. But this, this is my first official video of 2024. I can officially reveal that this is my first video. Now, it is Tuesday the 2nd of January and we're, we're going live tonight on Twitch for NXT New Year's Evil. We're going live on Twitch for that. Link will be in the description to my Twitch and my NXT New Year's Evil video will be up on Thursday. If you've seen the Jobber Rewind, you know the new schedule. Gaming video, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Main channel, Tuesday and Thursday. Cinema channel doesn't change. Unboxing videos on a Saturday and reaction videos on a Sunday. With bonus videos potentially on a Wednesday, maybe. That, uh, that's still a work in progress, but we don't know yet. Um, but yes, today is a podcast, the Jobber Chat podcast to be exact, as we are talking about Chicken Run Dawn of the Nugget. This is the sequel, 23 years after the original. The original came out in 2000. 23 years ago, obviously we're in 2024 now, but the movie came out in December, so 23 years ago uh, that movie came out. And uh, I actually watched the original about a week and a half ago, uh, just, just before, I'm sorry, just after uh, Dawn of the Nugget, because I wanted to watch the original after, don't ask why, but most of the original characters came back for this movie but some of the voice actors didn't reprise their role for example ginger the main chicken in this movie she had a different voice actor mr rocky in the original was voiced by mel gibson gibson in the original but in this version he's actually voiced by shazam zachary levi and in this movie, Ginger and Rocky have a child. Yep. Now you have to imagine two chickens getting busy. Sorry. But yes, they had a kid called Molly. Molly, little Molly. And she was actually voiced by Bella Ramsey who people might recognize from The Last of Us a TV series with Pedro Pascal, a.k.a. The Mandalorian. And in this movie, the big bad is once again Mrs. Tweety. However, in this movie, she is not married. We don't know what happened to Mr. Tweety. After the events of the first movie, she obviously divorced him, or even worse, <laughs> killed him. Who knows? Uh, we don't know what happened to him, but she does have a new business partner in this one called Dr. Fry. Yep, yeah, no, that, that's his name, Dr. Fry. That That is his name. And in this one, looking at the title... Dawn of the Nugget. Mrs. Tweedy is looking to make chicken nuggets. And you can bet that I watched this movie while eating chicken nuggets. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. 
Yeah, you damn right I did. Oh, yeah. No, I was... Yeah. No, no brainer. I, I was watching this movie with chicken nuggets. I was not holding back. I ordered a Mackey's. I ordered a McDonald's. Because of course I did. But the premise of this is they have their own little island, which if you watch the first movie, you'll remember that from the first movie. And obviously Molly is born, but she she wants to go off this island. And when she does, she meets this other chicken whose name I forgot to write down. Vanessa? No. Frizzle? I think it was Frizzle. Frizzle sounds right. Frizzy? No. Fritz? No. I don't know. I can't remember the friend's name. But she meets this chicken and they want to go to this farm, apparently, which is like a magical place. It's advertised as like this friendly place. And you get this necklace put, or just collar put on you to make you act all weird. And the other chickens are in this movie. We got uh, Wee Bunty. Bunty's in this movie. We have Wee Babs. Wee Babs is returning. The original voice actress returned for Babs. She's the one that just does all the knitting and thinks everyone's going on the holidays. And we have a uh, Fowler. Fowler is back. Uh, the male chicken in this movie next to Rocky. And then we have the two rats. Uh, Nick and Fletcher, they were like the standout characters for me. I love those characters in this movie. And obviously the premise, Molly gets kidnapped. So in the first movie, they broke out of a chicken farm. And in this movie, they were breaking in. There was a lot of callbacks to the first movie, especially when Mrs. Tweedy sees Ginger, she gets all the flashbacks to her cutting the rope and dropping her into the machine, which the first movie probably wouldn't have killed Mrs. Tweedy, but this one should have killed her. She got, I'm fairly confident she got chopped up in this one, like she got chicked, I, I swear to God, she shouldn't have made it out, but she goes through the chicken machine, she comes out as a big giant chicken nugget. There's a business person that she's trying to work with whose name I just completely forgot because it wasn't, it was not relevant in my opinion. But yeah, um, it was like Sir Big Fat a lot or something. And he's like, oh no, that's just the name of my company. My name is so-and-so, so I can't remember his name. Um, there was those security guards, automatic ducks with lasers. This, this was definitely, I, I said this movie, I didn't feel it was needed, you know, 23 years to make a sequel. You know, I've, I've heard of weirder things, like a lot of sequels have waited a good amount of years, but 23 years? I think, what, Hocus Pocus was 30 years between the first one and the second one coming out. So, you know, there's, there's 30 year differences, but yeah, 23 years. I don't know why they take so long, but hey ho, you know, sometimes, sometimes we can't control these things. And uh, yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't have much more to say about it. You know, they, they ended the movie with, all the chickens going and rescuing other chickens from other farms. And this, this is where it gets weird, okay? This is where it gets weird. For one or two frames in this movie, at the very end, one or two, like a couple of minutes, maybe, a couple of seconds even, do you guys remember the Wallace and Gromit short, The Wrong Trousers, that came out 30 years ago as well. <laughs> yes, yes it did. 30, 30 something years, but the the character in that, Feathers McGrath, the, the, the wee penguin, for some random reason, 
he appears at the end of this movie with the other chickens. And he has his little red glove thing on his head. And I'm like, huh? what the hell is he doing there? It's a fair assumption, you know. What is he doing there? Like, why is he there? But overall, ladies and gentlemen, this movie, as I say, I don't think... I don't think it needed to exist... But it does. It's here. It exists. It was an okay movie. For for what it was given. You know, it was... Twas fine. <laughs> Still in the Christmas spirit. You know, twas. <laughs> Who the hell says twas? It's in the story. It's old and stupid. It's tradition. Tis it? <laughs> That's a Jeff Dunham reference, if you don't know. If you don't know, now you do. I, I can't even remember what I give this uh, this movie. I almost said this, this story. No, this movie. I, I can't even remember what I give it. I think three stars, maybe? Three and a half? It, it was standard for me. It, like, th there was moments I enjoyed, as I say, mostly coming from... Ah, uh, the rats. Mostly coming from the rats, but... Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, my schedule, now, now that we're officially in January, I've been... Not so much pre-recording stuff, but... Let's just say... The unboxing channel... I'm basically sorted <laughs> until March and I still have a lot more stuff to record so even though I have content up until March I still have more stuff to unbox and review so I might even be done up until April <laughs> when it comes to the unboxing channel. The reaction channel, I might have about one or two free weeks worth of content because reaction videos, you know, it's just waiting for trailers. So, you know, I try not to record too much of those, but uh, we have our first video on Sunday reacting to uh, I'm Just Can, the Christmas version that Ryan Goslin dropped last week we also have uh, did a vlog yesterday for next goal wins that was fun uh we have a vlog tomorrow for a movie called ferrari starring starring adam driver and then we have a vlog on thursday called Anybody But You, which is a romance movie slash comedy. And then on Saturday, we have another movie called Please Don't Destroy the Treasure of Foggy Mountain or something. It's a weird one. So four vlogs <laughs> already happening this this week. Gaming video went out yesterday, gaming video coming out tomorrow, gaming video on Friday, already recorded gaming videos this week, and next week did a stream last night, my first official stream of the year, technically, that was my first gaming stream, we went live for Disney Dreamlight Valley after so long, that was fun, but yeah. The, it's 2024. Feels weird to say, but yeah, we're now now officially in this year, and uh, I, I, I I'm still still waiting for my Wonka outfit. Still waiting for it. 
unfortunately. But here's one thing I can tell you. Schedule-wise, Thursday is my NXT New Year's Evil review. Next week, next Tuesday, will probably be my... Uh, my, what do you call it? My Aquaman podcast. Because it's been... It'll be two, two, it'll be a week and a half since I've seen that movie. So probably my podcast for that. Uh, I don't think I have anything else main channel wise. Uh, the 19th. I think that's two weeks away we're going to the arena cross up in belfast that's the motorbikes that's what, that's what if you don't know what arena cross is it's basically motorbikes that's the easy way to describe it and i've seen it once before although that was nearly a decade away because that was 2016 it was the last time i seen the arena cross so yeah Hopefully, you know, we've got my Marvel What If Season 2, because it finished last year. It finished on the 30th, so we have that. And then Echo Season 2, or well, Season 1, Echo is dropping all episodes, which I'm just going to watch in one go, because if they're dropping all episodes, they clearly don't care. And I think Ted is also starting in January, so we have a couple of series to review as well in January, and movie-wise, I'm going to be doing a podcast for Mean Girls, because it comes out on the 19th, the day before I go to see, oh no, sorry, it comes out on the 19th, which is the day I go to the arena cross, so I'm seeing Mean Girls on the 20th. Yeah, quite a lot, ladies and gentlemen. There was so much stuff that I didn't mention in my rewind, but hey ho, you know, I, I get to catch you up on a podcast. But yeah, Chicken Run, Dawn of the Nugget. It's possible we're gonna get a third, depending on the way this one ended. Yeah, there might be a third. I don't know what they'll call it, but there, there will probably be a third, based on how this one ended. So ladies and gentlemen, I will see you on Thursday for my NXT New Year's Evil review, yes. That's my first official video. Oh, well, my first official review. No, you know what I mean? My first official NXT review. I'm going to shut up now. Just, just go, Ryan. Just go. We got the new intro and everything, so, you know, that's fun. Just, just go. Just, just go, Ryan. Go. Fine.